what up what up what up this is star with stars and first wisdom what's good capricorn hopefully you guys are doing well if you're new to my channel welcome if you are returning welcome back this is going to be a reading for a capricorn sun moon rising venus as well as north node this could be involving a soulmate twin friend someone from your soul tribe family member friend anyone or anything involving love or in general in the next seven days for the sign of capricorn um, energies can be vice versa so get in where you fit in you will know who you are specifically in the story if you can commit 100 um but then again this message may or may not resonate for you at this time um if it do though, please do like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and let your girl know. All right. I'm also currently uh, for today, Sunday only. I'm doing ten dollar readings. Um, so DM me on IG. You can hit me up on IG. It starts Empress, and uh, you can get your ten dollar reading today. All right. So, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. If you would like to leave a love donation, uh, that information is down below as well, and very much appreciate it. All right. All right, but first things first, Capricorn, what y'all need to hear for the next seven days is you are blessed. Do you know how much protection you got out here? Okay, they got your back, bro. All right, I feel like you guys have angelic presence all around you. Um, know that you are blessed. Tell yourself that you are blessed. Believe that you are blessed because uh, y'all is, look, y'all got protection. Y'all got hitters out there, Capricorn. Okay. Um, so in any time you need, you know, any needs, any time you need some assistance and just holla, holla up at your, uh, you know, at your guides, you know, holla up at the, at the most high because you are definitely being protected, um, by the chair being, by your angels. All right. But anywho, let's see what y'all got going on this week. All right. Family. So some of you guys could be um, creating a new family. Some of you guys could be starting a family with someone. Um, there could be some type of unexpected wealth that comes in uh, regarding family, all right? So yes, all right? So there could definitely be some type of unexpected wealth that's coming in. Could be from family. It could be, um, you know, to your family. All right. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys uh, are needing to walk away from emotional manipulation. I feel like some of you guys are walking away from emotional manipulation in your family or from your family, speaking up for yourself, or you are needing to do that. Um, I feel like you guys uh, are going to be receiving some type of unexpected wealth due to the fact that you are standing up for yourself, believing in yourself, and um, creating a new life for yourself. I feel like there could definitely be an issue here surrounding family. Maybe your family's not in agreement with what you got going on, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like you could be lacking strength here. I feel like you could be lacking strength and courage. Um, but I feel like you are going to be stable here. Something is stable. Something is yours. All right. I just heard something is yours, Capricorn. Um, yeah, but you got to release fear because it is an illusion. I feel like your family could be causing you to lack strength or courage in yourself. But something is destined here. So I feel like you guys have a destined career opportunity, a business opportunity, something like that. But I feel like um, some of you guys is going to help you to get a new home or uh, manifest a new home. Others of you guys, I'm getting that um, you could, it could be like a home business. So maybe you're destined to have a, um, a home business here. All right. But you could be lacking the strength. All right. Because of some type of illusion all right i feel like it's just an illusion but this is your your dream you are being you have been nudged to do this um and continue to do this because it is a part of your destined path things that start off as dreams and fantasies of ours are you know those are sparks from our spirit telling us which way to go so it's kind of like a guide you know so whatever you you know love to do even if it's uh currently at this time um you don't see the you don't see the pinnacles from it i feel like uh you know just continue to be courageous here because i feel like um either you're going to be manifesting a new home or some of you guys will have a success in a home business here all right but i feel like y'all gonna need to stand up for yourself could be regarding family all right or stand up for yourself regarding starting a new family so you could be starting a family with someone here all right but let's see Oops. Yeah, I feel like your family could be burdensome for you at this time. I feel like it, but it is an ending to a burdensome cycle with your family. Um, damn. Okay. So yeah, to clarify that, I'm definitely getting that some of you guys could be very burdened by your family at this time. Um, you know, your family could be saying that you're a heartbreaker or that you, you know, why'd you leave or why you doing that or why you doing this or, well, you know, I feel like, um, 
it could be somebody immature in your family or people could be saying that you're immature that you're a heartbreaker um and i feel like this could be burdening you at this time all right because people you know people might have some shit to say about what you got going on and i feel like that could be playing on your uh, your strength at this time people could be trying to attack your character but whatever you're doing is a good idea so whatever this new beginning is here it's a good idea all right so don't lack strength okay Hey Capricorn, don't let don't let them mess you up. Yeah, think positive. All right, think positive about your new beginning, about the situation, about this new home, or about um, this new home business, because of, there will be success, positive movement. All right, that's pretty clear. So there will be positive movement um, forward for you as far as a new home, as far as a home business. Um, just success is here, but I feel like some of you guys definitely are going to need to have strength and courage to maybe tell some people shut the fuck up. Okay, I don't know, <laughs> or maybe you maybe you need to uh, take a break from family, you know, for for a minute, or you know, if they if they hitting you up with, with bullshit, just you know, pause. Okay, pause for a second. All right, some of you guys just need to put your family on pause for a second so that you could take care of your business, so that you could chase your dreams here, so that you could create this new life. Um, but I feel like some of you guys could be hiding your feelings about this currently. So you could be hiding this, that you're burdened by your family. You could be hiding, um, you know... I feel like you could be hiding that you feel bitter or cold about this situation, or maybe you feel like uh, left out in the cold. All right. Yeah. Ever since you went on a journey. So ever since you traveled, ever since you started something new, some of you guys could have felt abandoned by family. All right. Or ostracized. All right. Let's see. In the recent past for Capricorn. But know that you're blessed, regardless of what anybody's saying, though. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys released anxiety in the recent past here. Um, it could have been regarding a Gemini. Yeah, victory. I feel like this is a victory for you to release anxiety uh, surrounding a situation here. Because I feel like you guys could have been in your head a lot, overthinking. All right, yeah. A house. I, some of y'all definitely, uh, you are focused on your pinnacles because you're about to manifest a new house here. All right. I've definitely been getting that in other um, signs, too. But um, or like I said, this could be a home business. I feel like you guys are definitely stabilizing yourself independently. Even if you're in a relationship, I feel like you is making your own coins. All right. Um, Generation X. I don't know where that came from. All right. But yeah, I'm definitely getting that. Uh, some of you guys are manifesting a new house here. It could be within the next four days. Let's see. Yep. Commitment. All right. So in the uh, next seven days here, I see commitment. I feel like this, uh, like I said, this could be a home. <clears throat> this could be um, home and a marriage. This could be home and a relationship. But whatever this is, it's a positive spiritual connection for you. It could be with someone with Venus and Aries, or it could be something significant surrounding uh, when Venus is in Aries. All right. Um, some of you guys, I feel like you may need to release yourself from a situation here in order to manifest a house. All right. But I do feel like you uh, you're going to go towards that. All right. Yeah, because something's not on your journey. All right. It could be a Piscean that's not on your journey. Someone with Saturn and Pisces. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody is just one is just trying to argue, trying to fight, trying to start conflict. Let's get some clarity, though. In the recent past. All right, yeah, so I feel like some of you guys definitely started a new business, a new career opportunity, a new relationship, something like that. And I feel like, um, you know, you may have released some type of anxiety. I'm also hearing some of you guys got a new job. Um, and I feel like somebody tried to rebirth the dead situation because they saw you going towards a new opportunity, a new offer. Um, but I feel like you knew that something needed to be laid to rest here. All right. So I feel like you rebirth the situation or allow the situation to be rebirthed and then realize immediately that it needs to be, you know, you knew it needed to be uh, laid to rest um, for love. So some of you guys um, have a deep love and a deep romance. Uh, some of y'all about to move into a new house with your love. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. Um, they have a lot of love for you. Yeah, you're going towards happiness, Capricorn. All right, I feel like you uh, you could definitely be going towards happiness here, moving in together with somebody, or this could be um, your home business. But I'm definitely getting like a house. So some of you guys could be, um, you know, doing fun stuff around the house or um, I'm getting if it's like a new house, you guys could be like uh, putting festive shit in your house or something like that with your love. 
but I'm definitely seeing some of y'all about to move into a new house with your uh with your bae. Or this could be somebody that you're dealing with. Yeah, going towards happiness. Happiness, commitment, a positive spiritual connection here. Yeah, but I feel like some of you guys are needing to communicate, all right, that somebody or something is no longer part of your journey here. Um, I see 888. So that is definitely um, symbolism for you, abundance, all right? Yeah, you need to communicate that you're moving forward, okay? So I feel like maybe you need to communicate that you're, uh, to someone, could be family, friends, whoever, that you're moving forward, you know? And I feel like y'all moving full steam ahead with that shit. Yeah, some of you guys, um, oh, there could be a pregnancy here. All right, so I feel like um, you may need to, some of you guys are moving forward. Um, I feel like you guys are going to be making positive alliances, friend, uh, new friends, or this could be that you could be um, moving forward into telling your friends that you're pregnant or somebody's telling their friends that they're pregnant. I'm also getting that um, somebody could be finding out that someone's pregnant via social media or via friends. But yeah, I feel like someone's needing to communicate that something or someone is no longer part of your journey. Ooh, I'm also getting that somebody's friend got somebody pregnant. And that's why somebody needs to communicate that they're moving forward. All right. That's a little messy. All right. So that is all though, Capricorn. I definitely see good shit. I feel like I might just have to, you know, get your muscles, get your muscles ready. Tell him you go keep doing what you're doing. Okay. You go keep loving who you loving. All right, Capricorn. Till next time. Later.